Hello world, it's Shotgun here. I'm back again with another video and in this video we'll be talking about Homebrew Core is a shallow clone error that appears every time you try to upgrade or update your Homebrew. So I only noticed this error this morning and just did a fair bit of a digging so that you guys don't have to do it. So if this video end up helping you in any way, please do consider subscribing because it would really help small content creators like me to get to you guys. So this video is going to be quite detailed, so feel free to use the topic or skip to the you know time or section or navigate to the part you want if you, if you only want to solve the problem. But if you want to know why you are having these problems and overall situation of GitHub and Homebrew, uh, feel free to follow this video on its pace. So let's get started. So let's just start by recreating the problem. Um, so just go to Brew Upgrade. And there it is. So it says error, Humber core is a shadow clone, Humber cask is a shadow, uh, shadow clone. I've been watching way too much anime. <laughs> um, yeah, but anyway, so it says Humber core is a shallow clone, Humber cask is a shallow clone. Like, what does that mean though? Like Humber core is a, so it sort of tells you about uh, what's going on while they have uh, restrictions and stuff. But yeah, what does that mean? Like what's a Humber core? What's a shallow clone? Yeah, so I'll explain to you guys what all these means in a second. So before I do that, I just need to talk to you guys a little bit about GitHub. So if you guys don't really know what GitHub is, don't worry about it. Um, I'll just explain in like uh, no time in the easiest way possible. So let's just say you and your mate, you guys have an assessment due, uh, 4,000 words. Uh, so you just go to your Word document, um, type of, um, you know, fair bit of a thing. Um, so you've got quite, quite a content. So you just save it. So you just do assessment. And just save it, and then later on you just upgraded it. Um, you just added few 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 more words, uh, and you decided ah oh, this line doesn't really make sense. Uh, what about I ch made it change somewhere down here? Um, yeah, that looks heaps better. Okay, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna save this, but I wanna replace the one from the. If I want to, you know, incorporate those things in the future, I just don't wanna completely get rid of that. So I don't. I'm not gonna do Control S. I'm just gonna save it as assessment one. Now later on, so you've got fair bit of a word uh, and you save it and then you thought oh yeah this is gonna be final one so I'm just gonna name it as assessment final now in the end you have look at this three different files and your mate sends you files over and um, you've got like even more files and then you keep making changes and you have so many files and it's hard to keep track of all these things uh, so you don't really know oh okay yeah this 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 so you've got all these files sitting on your desktop just by itself making it look ugly and it's cluttered and on top of that you have to go through every single file if you don't really so look at this one underscore two what does that mean like is this is this one the one i want to use or is the final two i want to use so github sort of looks after this issue so it's sort of a platform that helps you manage and track the changes to the software code that you've written so the same use case is just for the software codes so whenever you made contributes uh, all this version I've seen as well. So uh, overall, it just helps you to manage uh, all these files together. So why does that, you know, matter? What has that got anything to do with um, the error that we are having? So let's just go to our homebrew um, github.com slash homebrew. So uh, homebrew uses GitHub in order to do all the components of it. So let's say you install the package. Uh, it fetches the data from a GitHub. Um, so all this repo they have is in this thing, in, is in this uh, GitHub. Now, uh, why is it relevant to GitHub? So, so remember Homebrew Core and Homebrew Cask? So look at that. So that's a Homebrew Core, it's a Homebrew Cask. So Homebrew Core is a core formula for a Homebrew Package Manager. Uh, remember when I said you and your mate has to had to work on a project? So there's like 5,000, about 5,000 people working on this project and how hard it would be to keep up with the update when 5,000 people are working on the same project. 216,978 comments. So that's that's many times someone has committed. So all these 5,000 plus contributor would be contributing to this project in general, uh, would have a local repository where they would download this, sort of have like a copy of this file on your local computer. Um, they just do something like git clone and then clone URL uh, HTTPS which would look something like this like HTTPS clone URL um, the git and then and then they just do def equals one so this line right here uh, 
enforces not to clone the entire thing. So what do I mean by that? So so remember you had this many file, but in the end you only need this file. You don't so you don't need all of these files from your mate in order to incorporate all the changes in your final document. You only need one final document that is final to incorporate into your project. That's the same idea. So you wouldn't need you know this 26978 comments on this file. So you only need the last one. You only need the latest changes, latest comments that has been done by all these 5,000 contributors. Uh, and this is what you call a shallow clone. You're not fully cloning it, you're only cloning the latest comments. So that's a shallow clone. Um, so if you didn't use this the parameter uh, at the end of your command, you'd be cloning an entire repo. So Cloning an entire repo is totally normal, but the only problem is when you clone it to your local machine, it includes everything in a repository. That means it's not just the assets or source file that you want, but it clones every single of those files that have, you know, that has been made. What's the problem with that? You have unnecessary files on your computer. It just consumes your space. It will just increase the size and time taken to clone. So it'll take uh, a lot of time quite a long time in order to uh, download all the files. Now, you might be thinking about, hey, Shotgun, what do you mean? Like, I've never used those Git codes on my computer. Like, why does that have anything to do with my error? So when installing a Homebrew, Homebrew does that Git thing for you. It has created a shallow clone on your computer. Instead of downloading all the files and cluttering the space, it has only downloaded the files that are necessary to you um, and the, just the latest commits to those files. And that's how the homebrew used to install until October 2020. Uh, now it no longer creates a shallow clones uh, when it's being installed. And as of December 2020, that's a month ago, you can't really update an existing shallow clones. It's not allowed. Regardless of if you want or don't want all of these, you know, uh, full git clone, you'll still have it. You'll have to have it in order to run the homebrew on your computer. So if your question is, why is full clone of the core tab important if I only care about the latest core formula? Uh, why do I still need to get a full clone instead of the shallow clone? Well, there was not much homebrew could have done because it was requested uh, directly by GitHub to reduce their shallow clone uses. And as one of the contributor in GitHub community said, I guess we can just thank Microsoft for that. And so. I don't know, but yeah, that's that. So the answer behind why GitHub wanted Homebrew to reduce the shallow clone uses is, so every time you create a shallow clone, it places a massive computation burden on GitHub server because it has to, you know, go through the changes. It has to dynamically compute a fresh delta between what you have and the latest comment for every brew update. Now this would create a lot of burden on GitHub server. And because of that, um, if Homebrew decided not to go with their request, GitHub would probably, you know, limit Homebrew operation. And that would really suck for each one of us uh, using it, you know, contributing to it. So that is the only reason um, Homebrew is getting rid of a shallow clone. Now, now that we know what caused the problem, um, uh, let's just fix it then. So the easiest way to solve this problem is to just copy and paste this thing from the top, because it usually tells you what to do. It says to brew update first run that one. Now what you can do is you can just copy these one by one, copy this, paste it over here, um, just do Anna. Now, um, so most of the times people usually do try this and they go, ah, oh, it's not working. Maybe it's not working because it's not doing anything. Uh, maybe that's one of the reasons why you're on my video. But tell you what, it is working. It just, as I told you, it's a really big repo. So you have to download everything on that one. It does take some time in order to do it. So just let the machine sit there for a while and it will fix it. Right, guys, so the homebrew core has been finished. Now we need to do that, let's do the same for the homebrew cask. So we just do, this is the cask, the second one. 
It's going to take equally long time, but yeah. Right, guys, so that has been done. Now, so now that we have unshallowed both of these, um, you know, core homebrew core and homebrew cask, uh, let's just give it a go on brew update or brew upgrade. Happy days. So let's just do brew upgrade. That's it, normal error. So that's how you solve, uh, that's how you solve a homebrew cask is a shallow clone error. And hope you guys enjoyed the video. If this video helped you guys in any way, please do subscribe to my channel for more video. Um, I'll be putting out more content in the future. So if you want, if you want security, pen testing sort of related video channel. So if you run into any issues, uh, just comment in the comment section down below. I'm trying to help you guys. And if you guys have any video ideas, any content ideas, just chuck them down in the comment section and I'll be more than happy to do it. So in the meantime, keep being awesome and happy pen testing.